America needs a tidal wave of the old time religion. I have sinned against you. How dare you! We have no need to doubt God. The heart of Babylon is preparing the nations to receive the Antichrist. I didn't even build that house with money from the church. I built it with money from my book. I don't make this stuff up. Repenting of your sin. It is a moral issue. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. I just enjoy seeing people worship, <sighs> praising God. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Believe It or Not, That's What We're Here to Do. We're here to believe it or not, but uh, probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Hey, folks, we've been uh, possessed by those demons from that one episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh. Or or it's we accidentally made a new reality where there was like a riff in time and space, and then we were playing show tunes, so then that mm-hmm. made it so they thought the universe spoke in show tunes, and it rewrote. Or we were uh, we were deciding to start a barbershop quartet, but the other two members of the quartet died in a horrible bus accident, and now we're just a barbershop duet. Exactly. One of those happened. Yeah. Stay tuned to find out which. Or... I don't have anything else. Oh, so. that, that was it. Oh, uh, the Glee Club was mm. killed in a bus accident. Thank God. Yeah. Amen. We had to stand in. And, um... So, uh, hey, everybody. New Year. <laughs> it's the new year coming up mm-hmm. soon. Is it happening when this is out? Or is it this just This will before? be out just before the new year. But it'll be out on New Year's Eve, mm. the eve of the Should new Should all the acquaintance be forgot, and all the guys are there, and you have an extra pie, as I forgot my beer. Yeah. Mm, that was beautiful. Yeah. It was very musical. Yeah, <laughs> we're, today. we're doing it. <laughs> we're really doing it. Uh, New Year's, uh, the, our mm-hmm. tradition has been, except for in 2020 when we didn't want to speak of it, has been mm. to do a year in review. Yeah. And sometimes you have to review the year to get ready for the new year so mm-hmm. we don't make the same mistakes. Exactly. History will repeat itself. And if it doesn't, that'd be better. Yeah. But there's some things that I wouldn't mind history repeating. Um, like me winning the lottery. Ooh, yeah. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm hoping it will. I and hope. then I hope it repeats. <laughs> yep. Every New Year's Day. Every New Year's Day, I hope I win a million and a half dollars. Yeah. I think that's a reasonable amount to wish for. I think so. God, what do you think? I think it's okay. Sorry, God's down there now. Oh. I think it's okay. Uh, But also, this is a very special episode, because mm-hmm. it's going to be our last one for a couple months. Oh, well, I know everybody's crying into their uh, iPhones right now. Yep. Yeah. They're using their money as tissues. Listen, like, it's it's not goodbye forever. It's goodbye for now. Yeah. Because we will be back. And you'll still hear my voice. Oh. And Damien's, if you listen to Spooked. We'll be back with a vengeance. <laughs> a furry vengeance, like the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you ever see that movie G-Force? <laughs> you know what? I think I might have. Yeah, it's about these I, gerbils who I are think I, agents. I think I might have seen it at the drive-ins when I was like a kid. We went to like a double feature and that was one of them for some reason. <laughs> but I don't I don't actually remember if I saw it or if I just remember the trailers. Okay. Yeah. I saw it recently. Why? Why not? Life's short. Touche. Yeah. All right, so let's get right into what how was your twenty twenty three? My 2023 wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad. I felt felt busy. Yeah. But also not. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you what ever mean. have a, a, a year that feels like you're always doing something, but then at the end of the year, you're like, I didn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. 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 I think my, my year was pretty good. There was some mm-hmm. rough patches. I feel like I had a terrible February. Right. Yeah. I did have a terrible February. Mm-hmm. Not a great March, mm. and then otherwise, eh, pretty good year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, not globally. Globally, it's been a shit storm. But well, I mean, when is it not? Yeah, exactly. But here we are. Yeah, I mean, I felt mine wasn't too bad. I, yeah. I definitely was starting to feel a little burnout in my uh, day job. Yeah, a few times. Uh, but that's something to deal with in the new year. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I felt. Yeah, I felt. Um, I don't know if it was burnout or, or what it was, but. 
when right after and during making the trans uh, transgender sermon video, yep, I just felt so defeated. Mm-hmm. Like after, like making that and afterwards, it was like just like like the world sucks. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of th- well. I mean, that's something that has been going on for a while. It's yeah, not necessarily something new, but. Yeah, doing a deep dive into something like that has really got to be disheartening. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah, it really is. And then I did the Santa Claus right at one right after that, so that kind of helped. But mm-hmm. like, they're still still watching douchebags. Yeah, that I mean that must have been hard too. What with all the racism of yeah. Santa, Santa, right? Cla- yeah, I assume. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't even <laughs> talk about like the outrage over there being black Santas or. <laughs> yeah, I saw a few this year actually. Yeah, there yeah. was that the one where uh, on Fox News was bad that there was a black Santa in a wheelchair toy. Like just one decoration, and yeah, that you could buy or not buy. It's up to you. And they were upset about that. See, that's the thing, like that kills me too, because it's the same thing. It's like Black Ariel or whatever. Yeah. These are fictional characters. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Did you see that? Um, well, speaking of year in review, I saw a thing where it was like uh, a bunch of uh, <laughs> Republicans were getting pissed off because someone was saying, like, you know, Jesus was like brown, right? Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, no, he's white, like us. Yeah, that was one of the things, I too, that is that all the time, but. a lot of churches were upset with pastors this year mm-hmm. for um, preaching the words of Jesus because he was too liberal. <laughs> it was too lefty. Yeah, Really? They thought they were being influenced by uh, the woke media, but they were just preaching the words of Jesus. Jesus has become too woke for wow. a lot of evangelicals. So. Always has been. Yeah, it's true. Shut up, we're recording. That is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, all that goes to show is that these people uh, don't actually care about what they're uh, shouting about, no, I feel like. they really don't. Yeah. They just want to be right. They just mm-hmm. want to be on the right side, or on their side. Like, yeah. They just want to be, they want their team to win. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's what it that. is. It's yeah. identity politics, and it's yeah. just like, if our team doesn't win, then your team has to lose. Yeah. Exactly. Even if we both lose, yeah, exactly. Which is crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's oppress people because we can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stupid. S- speaking of crazy politicians, mm-hmm. let's mm-hmm. talk about Mike Johnson, new Speaker of the House. Ew, more America. like Mike Weiner. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there was a Weiner in there. Yeah, but he was a. We- uh, hey, ooh. Yeah, Tony, per- Tony Weiner. Tony Weiner. He's An- sending his Anthony Weiner to everyone. Weiner. Anthony. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Tony. Yeah, Tony's short for Anthony. <laughs> Tre- Trevor. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's he's making up a name. What's the real name? Anthony. Anthony. Oh, uh, yeah, Mike Johnson, the mm-hmm. um, Christian nationalist. Oh my god, um, he yep. has a lot of ties with a lot of Christian nationalists, and has very much said Christian nationalist things. Like, for example, when asked about his stance on the LGBT uh, community, he said, "Go pick up a Bible." Fuck you. This is not about the people themselves. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. Uh, someone asked me today in the media, uh, people are curious, what does Mike Johnson think about any issue under the sun? I said, well, go pick up a Bible off your shelf, read it. That's my worldview. That's what I believe, and I'm so I make no apologies for it. And this man is the Speaker of the House. Yeah. That's insane. Third in line, or yep. second in line for president. Wild. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. And the fact that the majority of Americans are somewhat okay with this. Yeah. Is awesome weird yeah he's uh well i don't know if the majority i I say that but i I don't know if that's necessarily the case (laughs) yeah yeah a lot of them too many are too many uh he said that the separation of church and state is a misnomer um and that's it's not a classic christian uh, nationalist talking point is that because the term separation of church and state isn't in the constitution it's just in a letter from thomas jefferson who they also worship and see as a Mm -hmm. Uh, founding father, yeah. Um, but there is the um, noted slavery. Yeah, the establishment clause is in the Constitution. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's one of those things too, where so many of them were like not necessarily religious, and if anything, were kind of actively trying to keep it out as yeah. much as they could. And they, well, you know, within the language of the time as well, without yeah. pissing people off. But the way that it's kind of become such a Christo, Christo-fascist state over the last uh, yeah. hundred years is pretty wild. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And like, um, 
if if any of these Christian nationalists, if they were mm-hmm. in a country that was ruled by another religion, like they're oh. always screaming about Sharia law, um, but they're okay with their own Sharia law. They're mm-hmm. okay with their own religion yeah. governing. Like, yeah. yeah. It's it's wrong. <laughs> or as my family member who I was arguing with about Palestine, um, we don't want Sherry law to come into effect. I have an Aunt Sherry. Oh. Yeah, I don't want her to have any laws either. Yeah. I, I um yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty insane. And like the whole thing with like the Pledge of Allegiance and all yeah. that shit like that, you know. <laughs> and nobody's like, Isn't this just indoctrinating children? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we just uh Aren't we just pushing this on little children to think that this is how they can obey? Yeah, exactly. Did you ever do the Canadian uh, Pledge of Allegiance? Because uh, there is one. I feel like we had to do it a couple times. How's it go? I don't even remember. Ba- dude, yeah. I barely remember the National Anthem's yeah. words. Uh, as soon as I didn't have to do it anymore, I I don't even really stand up at like, if I'm at a game or something, I'm not standing up. Yeah. I don't fucking no, care. No, no, Fuck no. that shit. No, I hate that stuff. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Patriotism is a scary. When we uh, when we stop selling bombs to foreign countries to blow up children in hospitals, then maybe I'll stand up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. When uh, yeah, the yeah when we stop treating the indigenous people of Canada mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. second class citizens. And, yep. Yeah. When we stop enabling our police force and the mounted police to be organized gangs funded by taxpayers. Yeah. Then maybe I'll stand up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, another thing about Mike Johnson is it was uncovered. Um, well, he he has been involved in purity balls with his daughter, like you know those like creepy. Yeah. But he was actually yeah. on a news show in in 2015. One of the, probably I think one of the clips that I've used many times of purity balls. He's in that, um, and his wife is interviewed as. Yeah. Was it, was he also the one who was like on that app with his son? Yeah. <laughs> where they were like tracking whether they were looking at porn or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I used to use that app. Well, he used Ugh. Covenant Eyes. I used to use Triple right. X Church. Yeah, Triple <laughs> X Church. Yeah, Triple X Church was <laughs> the the OG when it wow. comes to like check male that purity culture. Out. Yeah, <laughs> they changed it eventually to Three X Church because um, it Diesel was getting flagged on people's like work computers oh, and stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. It, so and yeah, so he did that the purity ball. His son, yeah, and then there's that weird thing with his adopted adult son. It's he's a weird man. Oh, is that the one where he's just like my adopted adult son's black? Yeah, so I can say the n word or something yeah. like that. Basically, <laughs> basically yeah. around like in a roundabout way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> he didn't say that, but the, <laughs> yeah, se- the sentiment the is sentiment. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of feeling right yeah we're like i can't hate black people my adopted son is black yeah like, that's <laughs> not that's not how that works yeah <laughs> if anything it just seems like you're fetishizing black people to make yourself feel better and not yeah. actually caring about the individuals well you see that a lot with like those really religious um families that adopt like a person of color as a child oh, like, yeah from a baby they yeah. just use it as an excuse from then on to prove that they're not racist mm-hmm but um, like I knew somebody who um, they were Korean, but like adopted into a white family mm-hmm. and their dad was still like just such a racist guy, like yeah. at, at Chinese restaurants and stuff. He would make those classic white guy jokes. And yeah, well, it's that's the thing. I think I, I've seen people who will call other people out for racism, but never admit when they have a prejudice or never admit when. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. I find a lot of times the people who are the most vocal with a lot of that stuff are usually just as bad. Yeah. 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 My, uh, no, I'm not even going to tell some of the stories of my dad. Like, my dad hated racism. Mm-hmm. He hated the idea of racism. Mm-hmm. But he also said some of the worst shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then we'd call him on. He's like, I'm not racist. And he'd give examples of, like, anti-racist things he's mm-hmm. done. And it's like, yes, you have done those things. But that doesn't mean you don't confront these things. Yeah. 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 And so it's like, because it's like, yeah, I think part of the reason I hate racism so much is because of the things he said, mm-hmm. like, uh, against racism. But, like, yeah, you, he would just refuse to, like, address certain things. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a bit of a cognitive... Cogni- 
I can't say the word. Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also, I think at the same time, too, it, it also feels like he was kind of doubling down because he, he knew that there were some things that he wasn't getting fully yeah. and probably was struggling with. Yeah. But the way he kind of dealt with it was doubling down in other ways. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. So I think he was on the right. He was on the right path, but it wasn't quite fully there. Yeah, exactly. Which is a good path to be on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's a very good place to be. Yeah. All things considered. All things considered. I mean, do better. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. But also, yes, it's the better. But if you're actually trying to do better, which it seems like he was, he was actively trying to be a good person. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a good thing. There was just those barriers of like, yeah. yeah. Not everyone's going to be perfect and people are going to make mistakes and, you know, yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, another story from this year, unless you wanted to go with one of your stories first. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I got a couple of little ones. Uh, my favorite one this year. Uh, oh, former Hitler Youth Pope Benedict oh. the uh, was he sixteenth, sixteenth? Yeah, XVI. Yeah, yeah he 16th. died at ninety five. Died of death. Yeah. Died of death. Yeah, that old rat. Oh yeah, another one that I had. Was Pat Robertson died this he year. He also too. died too. This is a big year. <laughs> I mean. For not as much religious, but Henry Kissinger also died this year. Yeah, so. fuck that guy. Fuck that guy uh, multiple times. And all three of these folks were With very, very old. Big spiny pineapple up the butt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of them. And they just really re- reinforce that thing of only the good die young. I just watched, um, uh, do you watch Wisecrack? No. They have some pretty good videos and they were talking a bit about like, uh, when is it like is it okay to like make fun of the dead kind of thing like that yeah and the big thing was talking about like the henry kissinger stuff yeah and i just want to double down and say yeah fuck that guy yeah fuck that guy <laughs> i love that one tiktok where it's the whole thing is um ronald reagan is still dead so they do mm. daily updates and like yep he's still dead great he's yeah. another horrible man they yeah. talk about reagan too and like yeah. the almost deification that he got and yeah. the, like public campaign to make him look like a good guy after he died yeah which is insane well it's like when nancy reagan died and then hillary clinton was like she really um put the conversation about aids in the forefront <laughs> it's like yeah because she said that they were that it was because of their sins yeah. <laughs> like what the yeah. fuck are you talking about no kidding right eh? yeah i mean killery right yeah lock her lock up her up. lock her up <laughs> <laughs> um the Clintons have their problems. Yeah, I, I'm I'm joking, but also they yeah, have, they're <laughs> they're not they're not yeah. clean. Yeah, it's funny because somebody went on something about how because I make fun of the whole Hunter lap Hunter Biden laptop oh, yeah, thing because yeah. it's ridiculous. It's pretty good. And somebody went on like, yeah, it's actually a really serious thing, and just because you love the Bidens, it's like, no, I can't stand Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden right. is a piece of shit. But I also think that the what about the laptop thing is is a stupid thing to it say. It is a really yeah. stupid thing. It's it's it it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, exactly. Which is what's wild about it. it would be like if everyone on the left was just like, "Well, what about uh, Don Jr.?" Yeah, and you're like, "What about him?" Yeah, well, he's a piece of shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and? he is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, who gives a shit? And he should be charged for the crimes that he was involved in. Exactly. But that, yeah. But that has nothing to do with Donnie Boy. Well, yeah. It, you know, it, it might. Yeah. Because I feel like that <laughs> yeah. family is very... Yeah. Uh, uh, hands on. Hands on, yeah. Hands on. Did you hear about um, uh, Sabrina Carpenter? No. You know, Jesus was a carpenter. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> Like she, like by family name, not by yeah, profession. Right, yeah. Right. Because she, um, when asked about it, because she'd filmed this music video in a church, mm-hmm. and then the the priest at the church got fired or whatever for letting her do it, and people said it was a really blasphemous music video and stuff. And when oh, really? asked to comment, she said, "Well, Jesus was also a carpenter." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. So she's a funny person. I don't I don't know any of her music, but that was a funny response i'm not saying that to look cool i legitimately don't know our music okay i folks. didn't know about this i didn't hear about this yeah. but that's pretty funny yeah did you see that one okay, this, i don't know if it's a news story but it was i thought it was fun it was that gospel singer on the plane 
Oh, and she's like, I'm yeah. nominated for several Grammys and I'm going to sing a song. And then the flight attendant is like, can you be quiet, please? Yeah. And she's like, what? And it's like, can you be quiet? <laughs> That's Christian persecution for you right there. <laughs> like, well, the people want to hear me sing. It's like, well, I don't. So yeah. shut up. <laughs> oh, I would be so mad. Like anytime I, know, I see those I videos where somebody stands oh, up on man. a plane and starts preaching, like I oh, would be God. in their face. Honestly, if anyone stood up on a plane and started singing, no matter what it is, Christian yeah. or not, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah. Like sit the fuck down. Yeah. I am trapped in a tube with you i do not want to hear your fucking singing yeah unless it's like leanna lewis no if anyone i don't want to hear them <laughs> oh yeah i don't fucking care if elton john pulls out a piano yeah. i don't want to yeah. hear it i'm on a plane now what if if it's a billy idol and adam sandler and they're trying to get drew barrymore to fall in love with i would tell him to shut up too yeah. shut up <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> I'm doing my crossword. Well, I don't know. If he was just like, zippity doo, I mean, like, let me hear him. Yeah. Let me hear what he has let to say. Let me hear him out. Let me hear him out. And your grandma watches on the VCR. Are you hearing the mama, mama, too? <laughs> zippity doo. Oh, my God. Uh-uh. If he's not getting into the Mile High Club today. <laughs> That's true. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> I took the train home for Christmas, <laughs> yeah. and uh, my, my brother's like, "How was your uh, How was your train ride?" I was like, "Pretty cool." I joined the Meter High Club. <laughs> I didn't really. Wow. I don't use washrooms on trains. Mm. And you're not allowed to bang in the uh, aisles. That's what they say. Yeah. What are they gonna do? Yeah, exactly. Throw you from a moving train. Yeah. Doubt it. Uh, speaking of the Catholic Church, so they act swiftly and fire you if you let Sabrina Carpenter. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but if you diddle some kids, you diddle some kids, they're going for no, they're going to bat for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta love that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The, the groups that are always, uh, that care so much about uh, the lives of children yeah, are the ones who seem to be ruining their lives. Yeah, exactly. Constantly. <laughs> Somebody commented recently on the Halloween video mm-hmm. and be like, uh, they were like, oh, thank God I'm Catholic or whatever. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, it's good you can celebrate Halloween, but um, there's actually some other things that aren't great about being a child in yeah. the Catholic church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so they lost a landmark case in uh, Australia mm-hmm. where they were trying to, um, let's see, they were trying to get permanent stays on historical abuse cases. And especially like they kept pushing back with like, if the priest was dead, then the, they were trying to say that the church isn't liable for dead priests when their actions and stuff. It's like, yeah, no, you are. Yeah. 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 You yeah. are. And then, uh, yeah. So, I mean, well, if they were going to start killing priests anytime something went to trial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd be okay That's with true. that. That's true. Yeah. You know? Oh, they're dead. Like, oh, well, Father Mike, you're on trial for sexual abuse. Well, if you just come into the into the confessional booth here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done with that. You just have a trap door that he falls through. Yeah. Sweeney Todd style, maybe? Well, what they should do is just have a button where the bottom goes out and then there's like a tar- shark tank or ah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a barracuda tank or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharks are hard to get. Well, I was thinking like, again, Sweeney Todd tile, style and then make yeah. them into communion wafers. Oh, smart. <laughs> these, right. these wafers are good. Or what other potluck, church potluck meals would what they work for mm, sloppy uh, joe's sloppy joe's sloppy joe's and mary's <laughs> yeah the meat and the that's what they call them sloppy joseph's and mary's yeah yeah <laughs> i do now i mean joseph got sloppy seconds from the lord though didn't he yeah yeah <laughs> i got in a stupid argument on tiktok about yeah um because there's that what is it welcome to bethlehem movie or something like that or mm-hmm. like so the band King and Country made a musical about the birth of Jesus, and they were singing this song about like some. There's something about that girl, and I commented, I was like, "They're saying that about Mary because she was actually a girl. Yeah, she was a child. Yeah." And then I got into an argument with somebody who was saying like, "That's not in the Bible. It doesn't say how old she was." And we were going back and forth. She probably was. Yeah, and then we were also talking about consent because like. Pe- 
there's that whole thing about like, mm -hmm. did Mary consent to being pregnant? And I say no, because she was told she would, was going to be pregnant. And then she um, said, whatever your will is, I will do. That's not, that's not saying, that's not being asked and then agreed. No, no, no. You're yeah. voluntold. And yeah. What are you going to do? Argue with God? Yeah. Like famously in the Bible, God loves it when people disagree with him. Yeah. It's like your boss saying like, go clean the toilets. And you're like, I don't want to. Yeah. It's like, well, then you're going to be fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not quite the same, but not, you, you know what yeah. I mean? There's a power imbalance there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My last day ever at Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Um one of the employees is like, can I go home early? I'm like, it's just me here. Is there any way you can do some closing tasks before you leave? She's like, oh, I always have to do that. I'm like, yeah, because it's your job. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to love that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Baltimore, a federal bank is a judge. This is from the Washington Post. Uh, started the clock on Monday for sexual abuse survivors seeking damage from the Catholic Archdiocese of Baltimore setting a date of May 20, 31st for claims to be filed. So after that, you're screwed. What? Yeah, so they only have till the 31st of May if they were ever... Uh, ever? Ab ...abused by a Catholic priest in Baltimore. Yeah. What? Yeah. So... Can you do that? I guess so. Well, because it's part of the bankruptcy thing, so like they were probably trying to do bankruptcy to get out of all of them. Oh, the like the Catholic Church ones? Yeah. So they're like, okay, no, you can't just call bankruptcy. Now you have to give people until the 31st to, for settles. Oh, like, okay. okay. But still. That's wild. Like, yeah, that's but I mean, wild. also, yeah. it is, I guess, technically holding the church accountable. But Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's it's still, yeah, pretty gross. Like, uh, And then there was one in California, also from the Washington Post, at least a third of um, 12 Roman Catholic dioceses in California have either filed for bankruptcy or are contemplating doing so to deal with the influx of lawsuits filed by survivors of childhood sexual abuse. Hmm. So over 3, 000, more than 3,000 lawsuits have been filed against the Catholic Church in California under hmm. the 2019 state law that extended the statute of limitations. Oh, no. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, geez. What are we going to do without the Catholic Church? Ooh. They might have know. to like start using some of that gold they have. Yeah, why don't we start expropriating the land and build affordable housing? Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, that's yeah. what I would do. Yeah, not a bad idea. I don't know, maybe. Maybe yeah. uh, back tax them for the last, uh, you know, 100 years or so. Yeah, I'd say 2,000 years. Yeah, 2,000 years. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Let's do that. Last 2,000 years. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, I just thought this was a fun little story. There was a a possible Eucharistic yes. miracle at uh, St. Thomas Church in Thomaston. Oh, good. So it seems like they were going to run out, and he thought they were going to run out, but they never did. And then at the end, it's like they had even more. And um, I don't know about you, but I think, I think it might have just been the good lord coming through i think there's literally no other possible yeah. explanation that they might have just found another box of crackers or whatever. yeah yeah <laughs> take that starving children all over the world god could feed you but there's a church that needed wafers also i don't know why it's so funny to think of like the priest being there and realizing oh shit we don't have enough crackers and yeah. then running out and then the people just being there like where's my cracker what's gonna happen if they do run out of crackers like what's the worst that oh yeah if somebody dies that week they'll probably go to hell will they no no you, you don't have to re-up every week i, I don't, don't know how this so. i don't know how this works like Catholics do communion every week mm -hmm. but i think if you miss one you're you're fine right like, See, I don't know. I did. I did it once yeah. at a funeral, but I was. It was. I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. And I'm like, what do I do? I think we did it. Like, do this. I'm like, what? Yeah. We do it. We did it once a month at the church yeah. I went to growing up, and then the church I worked at. I worked at a Lutheran church, so we did it every week. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah. No, no. Please continue. I was just remembering something. And then I went to an Anglican wedding a couple years ago, and I sat in the back specifically so I wouldn't mm. have to do communion. <laughs> someone someone said, do you, don't you have to be baptized in order to do communion? Yeah. I wasn't baptized, so. Oh, you failed. Uh -oh. It depends on the church. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. So what does that mean? Does that mean I just had a cracker and wine then? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Free cracker. Or free you blaspheme the Lord. Depends oh, who you talk to. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So. 
Could be either. Well, I am going to keep my personal relationship with the Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he will tell me whether or not I blasphemed. Yeah. Shouldn't that just be like a major counter to anything? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't there another big miracle this year, too? I, um, mm. There was like a woman, a nun, who they dug up for some other reason. or, <laughs> And then they didn't. Yeah. They thought she looked too good for how long she was in the grave. Mm, damn, that yeah. doesn't look good. She looked good. <laughs> so they said that was a miracle, but like okay. doctors are like, well, or, or like um, funeral people are like, yeah, no, that it could happen. It depends on how yeah. cold or whatever it was mm-hmm. under. She was embalmed, like it yeah. definitely could still look like that. Not a miracle, but they took it as a miracle. So, wow, or maybe it was. Who knows? You know what? I think uh, I think they just wanted to fuck that dead nun. I think so. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'm probably not. No, actually, yes. Yeah, no, now yeah. that I think about it. Yeah. No. No. Maybe maybe the ones on Triple X Church or whatever it yeah. was might might want to check those ones yeah. out. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know they they did a campaign for Triple X Church with Ron Jeremy. Really? Yeah. Because um, they said they both agreed that. Um, children shouldn't be watching pornography so right which i agree with yeah but, but isn't he a major piece of shit he's a major piece of shit I this think was he probably has, like before dementia now too, yeah he? so I, maybe but yeah, yeah okay. it's before all the allegations came out but um still he's yeah yeah it's, oh, it's weird um so we all know what's happening in the middle east um yeah i mean we can't not bring yeah. that up of course. And uh, obviously a lot of religious connotations to that. But uh, one of the things I wanted to look at was like the evangelical um, mm. support because they think it fulfills biblical prophecy. And like the amount of evangelical end times preachers that are just salivating now and just so excited about the awful stuff yeah. happening in Gaza. Um, uh, there are a bunch of ghouls. Yeah, they are. John Hagee is a big one that's been um, – so he says he's fully in support of Israel, and he's been, like, doing – he he's always done huge – like, a lot of stuff in Israel. He's poured lots of money into Israel. He's he's always, like, saying he's pro-Israel, but he's very anti-Semitic. He yeah. is a very racist, anti-Semitic person. Oh, yeah. You got to love that. Yeah, but he's pro-Israel because he thinks that doing so will bring mm-hmm. Christ back. Right. Yeah, these are the kind of people that you hope for um, for every uh, child that was killed in an airstrike that these people get a hot poker in the eye. Yeah. Every yeah. single one of them. Yeah. Fuck these people and their ghoulish attempts for their death cult to come true. Yeah. It's disgusting. This whole situation is a, a mess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the thing is, too, like, I don't believe in hell, but there's this episode of Doctor Who mm-hmm. where uh, these robot people go back in time well they're not robot people but they're using the robots but anyways they robot go back in time people. and extract people at the very end of their life like evil people to punish them mm-hmm. because they they know that there's no hell so they extract people so that they get some punishment before their death um i mean that's fun i'd be okay with that for some people <laughs> kissinger <laughs> kissinger let's well, bring him back to life yeah um yeah and then there's a more. Yeah, there's a lot there, a lot to yeah. unpack, a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're qualified to go into. Yeah, exactly. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get comments about yeah. it. Yeah, for sure, we'll get for comments sure. about it. Uh, what about this? What yeah. about this? Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Well, what it feels like with these end times preachers is that they're like the villain in one of those um, magic movies where they have to find all the pieces to a cube and put the cube together and mm-hmm. and once they do then the, they'll bring upon the apocalypse and that's right. really it feels like what they're doing is like yeah. well if we get um israel to do this and then if we get this country to do this then that'll trigger what the prophecy said and it's like is it prophecy then if you're that's the crazy thing about yeah. it it's like if if there was like a divine being that was doing this wouldn't it just happen yeah exactly. why do we why do we need to like Make these dominoes fall in the right order for exactly. it to happen. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Y'all are fucked. Yeah. Uh, the Southern Baptist Convention. Um, I saw about this. Yeah. Expels mm-hmm. women, pa- churches that have women pastors um, because <laughs> they fixed all their abuse problems. So yeah, move on to the real people who are abusing women. 
But realistically, yeah. why would you want to be a preacher as a woman? Yeah. Why would or you want to be anyone, a preacher yeah. as anyone, really? But, well, I guess if you like uh, child abuse, I guess. Yeah. Um, I apologize to the person who I had this conversation with, but um, I won't use your name. But recently had a conversation with mm-hmm. a family member who was asked to um, teach Sunday school. And the reasoning the person was asking is like, we need more pro-LGBTQ people in the church to be there for those kids when they come out and support them. Right. And and my family member was like, I get that and I understand that and then good for you for wanting that. But also in order to be that person and teach Sunday school, I would have to teach things that I don't believe. Yeah. So I can't in good conscience like be that person who's teaching the kids things that I now regret like wish I wasn't taught. My thing about that too is just like we need more people to be there for these kids. Like, yeah, outside of the church. Yeah. We need to get them away from this yeah, bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you need someone who's like there for them, it's usually because the people who aren't there for them are in your church as well and are yeah. believing the stuff that you're preaching on every other day of the week. Yeah. So maybe take a look in the mirror and figure out this shit before you start trying to harass people who've gone through it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Might be an idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't know, like, mm. I was thinking recently about, I mean, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but yeah. um, the one time after I had been out of the church for a while and somebody asked me to um, do PowerPoint for the worship service, so because they do all like the, <laughs> for their church. Yeah. And it like automatically just brought up so much trauma for me. And like I was almost in a panic attack just asking me mm-hmm. to do slides because it brought back so many memories of times when I've had to do that in the past and like right. church politics. And, and then just the idea of sitting in a church, listening to people praising the Lord, it just like everything just came flooding back to me. And they just kept asking me because they were desperate for somebody. And I was like ready to scream because I was like, there was no way in hell I was doing yeah. that. Yeah, that person has since moved on from the church too. So, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, but also just like make your own fucking PowerPoint. Yeah, or just don't use one. Yeah, like they know on. the words. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in case you've forgotten, the Bible says this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about it every fucking week. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about the student that was punished for dancing? No. Is this... Oh, maybe I did. This yeah, was like real life... Uh, real life Footloose. Uh, Footloose. Yeah. She was like Kevin Bacon, and they were in the tiny town in Footloose. Yeah. But, uh, tiny yeah. Town a DJ Footloose. was hired to DJ a high school party, like an after um, the homecoming, so an official like party. Yeah. And he made a video of some of the kids dancing to his music as a promo for his yeah. DJ in business. And the principal saw her dancing and called into the office and said she wasn't, um, yeah, she wasn't following the Lord and she wasn't, you know, living living in the. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh, oh sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> I just got a uh, Jagger bomb. Jagger. <laughs> That's okay. He, Show love, not claws. He means well. Uh, yeah, and uh, so he he removed his recommendation for a scholarship she was going to get because of it and removed her from committees at the school. So she lost a lot of money in scholarships. There's no way she can get it back. And um, he he later apologized. For but did she, was, what, I, I feel like with just the publicity of this, she had to have gotten something. She must have. I like, hope so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that what happened was right, but I feel like this making the news had to have done something. I hope her. so. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, yeah. because that's fucking ridiculous. If not, we'll start a fund for you. <sighs> Boy. Oh uh, yeah, I put. Um, yeah, oh, and then the other thing I forgot that this was this year, but the Dalai Lama asked a young boy to suck his tongue. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, you gotta love that. Oh, power. I saw. I, I haven't read this one yet, but I, I found this article about uh, they're asking if a new religion could develop around AI. Oh. So that'd be fun. Would that be like the AIs worshiping someone, or would that be like people worshiping AI? I think people worshiping AI. Maybe I don't know. We'll oh. have to read the article and we'll check back in the new year. There was also the Jesus <laughs> AI app that oh, came really? out where you could. Talk Talk to Jesus, and people said that was blasphemous. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I like probably it. because people were trying to uh, sext with him. Yeah, probably. That would be my guess. 
Um, I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Would you try and sext with Jesus? Would you? <laughs> Let us know. Um, I think you'd be okay with it. Yeah, I AI think so. Jesus. Like him and Mary Magdalene never hooked up. Come oh, on. come on. Yeah. Come on. Have you yeah. even seen the movies? Oh, you think he just hung out with prostitutes Shh. for fun? I think that was added later that she was a oh. sex worker. I don't think okay. she was actually like in That's the Bible, fair. but That's um, fair. it's possible. Why That's not? Fair. That's fair. Um, and yes, sex worker. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just I'm using it for the the joke, not for the drama. For the drama of it, yeah. Because that's what people say. Yeah. Not because I, I don't think any of these people are real. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about cartoon characters here. Yeah. At the time. It was funny. Like in one of my videos, I talked about how uh, the story about the woman caught in adultery. Um, wasn't in the original text and it was added later mm. um, by s- somebody who liked the story and added into the Bible. Mm-hmm. And then somebody commented about a detail in the bio- in the story about what Jesus was actually doing. And it's like, we established that did- Jesus didn't actually do anything yeah. in the story. So why do you care about what he was writing on the ground when that probably just, he didn't write anything? Yeah. I think it's funny, too, that all these stories, they talk about adultery, but they're probably not talking about all the husbands who are committing oh. it all the oh, time no, in these no. stories. So. It's about the women. Yeah. yeah. So double standard much, yeah. maybe? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I think the Bible might be a little sexist. That's true. Well, you know, when women are property, so duh, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm not. I don't think that, but that's what they thought. Oh. Well, I didn't know. Any other thoughts on 2023 <laughs> and religion? It was a year, uh, yeah. like many others, filled with uh, heartache and bullshit. Yeah. And I think we're going to see more in the years to come. Yeah. I'm glad to see that some of the big uh, organizations are really taking a bit of a hit. Yeah. But I'm also disheartened by uh, the doubling down in some of the religious yeah. uh, political sectors. Yeah. That seems to be happening. We'll see. Hopefully, it's a turning point and people start saying, fuck that shit, but you never know. Yeah. You never do. And we'll see, now that we're seeing the real effects of global warming with the weather and how it's been this year, we'll see uh, yeah. if they ch- change their view on... No, they won't. Um, they didn't. They didn't, and they will never. Okay, so should we thank our patron? Let's thank our... Just one? Just one. This just week. one. Yeah. Let's thank our patron. <laughs> Oh my god, wow, thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey everybody. Uh this might be actually um back to real person. Uh this actually might be uh, our la- well, this is our last podcast for a couple months, mm-hmm. so let us know in the comments how we should thank our patrons. Oh yeah! Uh, in the meantime, true, because we still want to reach out and and let you know we appreciate you. Maybe I'll put a something at the end of the video essays or something. We can leave like a weird voicemail. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Michael, <laughs> Michael, this is your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom left the cat in the garage again. <laughs> he peed everywhere. Michael. Michael. <laughs> That's good. Tell your mother to stop leaving the cat in the garage. <laughs> Jagger. Hi, Jagger. Hi, buddy. Uh, but thank you so much to this person who we love. And their name is... <laughs> Casey. Thank you very much. We love you so much. From the bottom of our heart. To the to the tippy top of it. Tippy tops of our toes to the mm-hmm. tippy top of our foreheads. Top, the top of our toes to the bottom of our forehead. Yes. Uh, Amen. Yes. Amen. Uh, Christian Rock Lyric. Can't you see you're not making Christianity better? You're just making rock and roll worse. <laughs> Christian rock, Christian rock, Christian rock lyric. This song is called Heaven Changes Everything. This uh, The artist is called Big Daddy Weave. Big Daddy Weave. I hate this person. <laughs> is this a band? I think it's or a group, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, a group of old people, I think. 
We're a bunch of old people singing about heaven and the earth. Let's call ourselves Big Daddy Weave. We wore an onion on our belt as that was the style at the time. We better get the cat out of the garage. When I say old, I do mean my age. Just want to throw that out there. Um, These tears would just be tears falling down my face, and this hurt would just be hurt with no healing on the way. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven changes everything. A goodbye would be goodbye with no I'll see you again. And when a life is over, that would simply be the end. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven changes everything. In the light of eternity, I have this hope. You hold my heart, and I'm never alone. One day you're coming back. One day I'm coming home. Thank you, Jesus. Heaven changes everything. Oh, everything. My questions would stay away. No answers to be found. And all this time I've fallen, I'd still be on the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I can live for the day when my eyes will finally see every piece that was broken, restored, and redeemed. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's not the most offensive thing I've heard on this uh, channel. No. And it's not the like the worst. Like I get it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sure. You have. Yeah. You have a tool that helps you cope. It's like, oh, you know what? I have Jesus, and He makes me feel better. Yeah. Cool. Great. Yeah. Cool. I think I have pizza. Yeah. I think knowing that something is goodbye has Mm -hmm. has more weight when you know it says goodbye, and you can actually like work with that and deal with it. I think grief. Mm-hmm. I prefer grief where you know that you're not going to see them again. You don't have that false hope. Right. Um, yeah, I get why it's tougher, but I think there's more. I think healing is more possible with that. Yeah, there's a, there's a more realistic chance of, of uh, closure with it. Yeah. Maybe. Exactly. But again, yeah. I, I don't have the alternate perspective Yeah. because I, I don't subscribe to that. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Yeah, and I think that but, like knowing that this is it, means that you have to if you want a legacy and that legacy is only going to be here then you have to do good things here in order to get that legacy here and, but mm. again not everybody wants a legacy so just be a piece yeah. of shit if you want I make mean, that your legacy or I guess. be a good yeah. person and yeah, don't worry be, about a legacy yeah too, it's true the legacy yeah. is a weird thing yeah it's true yeah <laughs> yeah I don't know. but uh we hope you have a wonderful new year Crappy poo rear, everybody. <laughs> happy, happy, crappy. Wow, I can't speak. We hope you have a wonderful time. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you. In, well, I'll see you soon, but we'll see you together in a few months when we revamp yeah. this and figure out what we're we'll going to do sure next. We'll make sure it's good. And if you have any ideas or thoughts and things you want to share with us or things you want to see, send us that in the next like few weeks. Yeah. And uh, it, it'll definitely be something we'll be reading and we'll be looking and trying to figure yeah. out um, what the next step is for us and how we can... Uh, uh, you know, bring you guys the best stuff that we can. Yeah, and I'm going to keep the feed alive too. I'm going to mm-hmm. put the essays on the feed as well. Um, I may put um, older essays on there mm-hmm. just so you have something to listen to. I may not. I may just put the news. So we'll see. But yeah. I'll keep the feed alive in some way. Um, we might be checking in on you guys now and then too. Yeah. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry. And you all have my number. It's so just give that a call. And bye. Bye for now. Ah. Work, 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 Sky Moon. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network.